in the distance that's Port Dinaric over there with all the houses. I won't attempt the Welsh name because I'll not get it right. And it's a busy day in the Menai. While we were in Port Dinaric, Gaynor's mother and brother dropped in to see us and they wanted to see the local sites. Since they are not sailors, we wind up going round the local stately home. I preferred the outside, the view of the straits and watching the various craft move up and down to the selections of murals and furniture that were on the inside. Wow. Are you in a tiny house, Bev? <laughs> Fortunately, the ordeal was soon over and we got back to sailing. So this is where we're starting from in Port Dinaric and we then have to move the boat down to Carnarvon. We didn't go to Carnarvon originally because the Carnarvon regatta was on and uh, it was a lot of small boats in the river and we had to wait for them to go to get space in here. From Carnarvon, we then move down and we go through the rather infamous Carnarvon Bar, which is over here, and all these sands. Now, if the wind and the tide are against you, this is a very hazardous passage. So the general rule of thumb is, before you go through the bar, go speak to the harbour master and get the latest voyage, because the buoys that were marked here were in the correct positions when the chart was produced, but they do move them as the sands move around and they move around fairly frequently. So we got the latest information from the harbour master and we followed it. Since the distance from Port Dinaric to Carnarvon is only three and a half miles, we didn't bother putting the sails up or taking the fenders off. It was hardly worth it. By the time our engine had warmed up, we were in Carnarvon Harbour and rafted up with some other boats, just waiting for the right conditions of wind and tide to take us over the bar. So we went and had a quick look around the town. Collection. So how long did it take you to uh, get those? We've not been here that long, have we? Not really. Yeah, I think it's stuck upside. It's shrimp. Oh yeah, you've got some shrimp as well, haven't you? Yeah, I think I've got four shrimp, but they probably didn't eat them now. Well, I thought so. <laughs> well, that's a huge collection. If you're coming to Carnarvon from the northeastern side, if you're coming down from the Swellies, um, you will see this church spire, and you will see the church spire long before you see the castle. I have never seen a castle so invisible as Carnarvon Castle against the trees. I actually need binoculars to pick it out, but the church spire I saw from about two miles away. So if you're coming from the northeast, look for the church spire. The marina is right behind it. So we've left Carnarvon and we're going over Carnarvon Bar which is uh, one of the more treacherous uh, areas around here. So far it has gone quite well and we have more of it to go unfortunately. 
Right, come in more toward the boy, please. It's a damp, rainy morning, and we're hoping that it's going to improve. And there's the safe water mark, so we're now clear of Carnarvon Bar. So, Skipper, how was your challenge? I'm mental. Why do I want to challenge myself? Why do I want to... Yeah, I set myself a challenge of this morning. I thought, right, I've got a challenge. So I've got, got myself out, got, got Salty Lass out, and um, I've skippered us across the Northern Bar. Oh. Something you do not do without talking to local knowledge. This is what the girls do while they're, uh, we're on passage. They read about places to go. So we're halfway over. The um, wind has completely died and we've had to go to the engine. And we've had a slight toilet malfunction. So this little seal has come loose. So um, my job is to uh, try and fix it and put it back. flasher and the cardinal is off to one side. That's one cardinal and the other cardinal is off just to the side of the foot of the mast and here they are on here. These are the two. These are the two you can't see. And this little itty tiny dot. It's the little bunny rabbit. That little itty bitty 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 dot that's barely visible on the chart plotter? That's the big massive thing in the middle of the channel! <laughs> 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 